How great would it be to bring somebody back from the dead? How great would it be to be able to make nerve endings that can't fire, fire naturally again? Long lists of people want long lists of things. Two mega biotech companies have been given the green light to start small scale reanimation attempts. Now, as you all well know in many other fields and industries, before any authority gives any permission to do anything, the group wanting it done has to basically put forward evidence and research that they've already done to say we can take this further and here is the how factor. You know, we had 10 patients who we did these things to that couldn't do these before and now they can or they have 10, 20, 30, 40% more muscle movement, nerve movement, things of this nature. Well, in a controversial move, a U.S. biotech company has been given permission to recruit 20 clinically dead patients and try to bring their central nervous systems back to life. Now, this basically means to start reanimating parts of the upper spinal cord where the lower brain stem is located. There's possibility that they could kickstart vital body functions such as breathing, heartbeat, and do amazing things from those functions forward. And no doubt, ladies and gentlemen, from that, if you watch the movie Prometheus, there is a remarkable, remarkable scene. The medical staff of that team examine the engineer's um, head after they remove the helmet. Everything is fine. The engineer's head is almost completely intact. Looks almost alive, so they try to stimulate the brain using electronic prods. Um, they target a certain region of the brain, which I've had some medical training. I don't really recognize the region that they described. But they inserted the prods into the brain, stimulated the facial muscles, simulated the brain for a little while. Some consciousness seemed to come back to the engineer's head. Um, of course, it was science fiction, so it's hard to tell what was what. But the major idea, folks, is that this did happen, and this was a proven method, um, at least in this science fictional area so the idea behind it is probably semi-real so basically in a controversial uh, move biotech company basically wants permission from 20 clinically dead patients to try to get their central nervous system back to life reanimate parts of the upper spinal cord lower brain stem uh, where they can basically kickstart vital body functions such as breathing and heartbeats uh, without the use of machines. So this is the situation here. Um, and basically by doing so what they're going to do is they are attempting to do this through the family's permission of these 20 dead people. I don't know how dead these people are. I don't know if they have been dead and they're now on lung and heart machines waiting to be have the plug pulled or what the situation is. What I can tell you is that if the private sector has already done it, the government already has the information and basically the two companies involved in this are BioCork Inc. and Revita Life Sciences. Uh, BioCork Inc. is from the United States, Revita Life Sciences from India.
and both have expressed permission granted from the Institutional Review Boards of the United States and Indian National Institutes of Health to begin clinical trials whenever they're ready. Biocork says it plans to start recruiting patients for a so-called reanimate project immediately, which means it's already done. Phase one, no doubt, has already been done. Non-randomized proof of concept study to determine whether they can re reverse brain death using combination techniques including drug administration, nerve stimulation, and laser therapy. That's the best case scenario. Um, the reanimation of the central nervous system being the key goal. Um, looking for any changes after death in the uh, meninges of the brain, layers of tissue between the skull and surface of the brain. In particular, teams are looking to improve patient's pulse blood oxygen saturation, blood pressure, and respiration. Once they've been given permission from the families, the 20 dead patients will undergo a six-week period in an Anupan hospital in Radhapur, India, after which they'll go and continue experiments for several months to see if any changes occur. So this is definitely an interesting thing, folks. And remember, they don't do these experiments if these individuals have not gone out of their way to perform some kind of light research miracles on patients that they've been given permission to do this in before. I mean, they can't just go in and say, oh yeah, um, we'd like to do this and we have nothing to show you. No. This means they have perfected at least something that should gather results. So, thank you.